Hello everyone and welcome to my first voiceover. So, let's begin with what I used for this painting. First is a palette knife to mix my colors, brushes, a towel, a spray bottle filled with water to keep my paints wet during this painting, two cups of water so I don't have to clean my cup that fast, the colors we are using today are black, titanium white, cadmium red, both from Windsor & Newton, and primary yellow. a clean brush to clean the surface of the wood so we can prime it with acrylic primer. I'm using a square brush for this. Now with a slightly smaller square brush I'm going to do the sky. I'm using a pale yellow and then I added a little bit of red and made it orange. We will have a lighter area in the center and a darker one on the edges. So now while I painted the sky with different shades of yellows, oranges and reds, let's talk about my YouTube break for almost a year. This year I was very busy with school, had lots of exams, but now that I am done with all of this, I can focus more on my art and growth on social media. I am more active on Instagram and I try to post as often as I can, so you can follow me there so we can uh, interact more. Slowly, I make a full-time job creating art, but I can't post every day and upload a video every week because it takes time to prepare, to film and to edit because I'm doing this all by myself. And I need time to get used to this new schedule and I hope you can understand that. Also, my setup is not amazing, so I have to improvise most of the time. So, going back to the painting. As you can see, I am creating a gradient with those colors. I am using the same square brush for this and I will not fully cover the white area because at the bottom the buildings will show up anyway.
Next I will be using a rounded brush for the clouds. I am working while the paint is 70% wet so I can blend the colors nicely. So be careful to work fast when working with acrylics because they dry pretty fast. Now I'm painting the sun, you can use a round stencil for this, I decided not to and try to make it as rounded as I can. Ok, so what I'm doing is I dip a wet brush into the red color and make thick lines and then I come with a dried rounded brush and try to blend it nicely and make a fluffy cloud shape.
Here I begin with the buildings. I try to paint different heights and lengths so it looks more realistic. After the first layer is dry, I come with a second layer to make my black stand out more. With the smaller brush I have, I make all the details.
okay so that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see each other next video adios